Hello there, I'm Tatiana Volt, the GM Witch, and today we're going to be unboxing the December Dungeon Crate subscription box. Alright, so the first thing you may notice is this box does not look like the normal Dungeon Crate subscription boxes. Apparently in December they ship everything out in a plain box so that if given as a gift, the surprise isn't spoiled by the recipient just by the box alone and to help deter from package theft, which happens a lot around the holiday. Now, because I wasn't expecting this, I did open the box and look at the top part of the contents before I realized what it was and closed it to save it for this video. So you will still get to see me experience everything and my first impressions aside from the first item, which was on the top. So, so far, this is all I've seen. Okay, so the first thing in the box, it looks like is an adventure. And this is the Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition version for level seven. And this is the Pathfinder version of the Holiday Spirits Adventure. So you kind of flip it and I'm assuming it's half and half. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. I like that. So I got a little adventure booklet. Then there is the card that says what's in it. Obviously I'm not going to read this because I don't want to spoil the surprise. Um, and then on the back side is the map tile. So they utilize this postcard and turn it into one giant map. You can tell which piece of the puzzle it is by seeing uh, the bit on the back. Unfortunately, this is the last month, so this is the only one I will get of this one. But starting next month, it'll be the beginning of a new map. So if I do it for the whole year of 2020, I will get all of the pieces, which I think is a really awesome idea, and I love that they do this. Then there's a business card uh, that's talking about crate coins, which I think these are supposed to be the crate coins. I don't know. And then there are some itty bitty character sheets here, which I think is pretty cute. There is some chocolate. I know that they tried to include some extra goodies for the month because, you know, it's the, of the holidays. Then there is a wondrous item. So it's got the image on one side and then the information on the back side. I think this is pretty cool. It's nice quality. It is kind of a bummer that it's so large, so I won't be able to fit it with my other item cards, uh, but I'm assuming all of their cards will probably be around this size. So I'll just have a new collection of uh, cards that I can give away, which I think is pretty cool. Wow. This is pretty awesome. So this is a little notepad here. It's for your little character sheets and you can put all their information. I'm sure this would be helpful for like NPCs and stuff. Then it looks like some coasters. Okay, I think this might be a reusable character sheet uh, based off of the material. It's a warlock character sheet that's reusable. At least that's what it looks like it is. Then there is a empty bag. A not empty bag, ah, but let's look, ah, there's a uh, seven polyhedral dice, so there's dice in here, and then there were these floating around, so I don't know if they were inside the bag or not. Then there's some candies, which is pretty cool. There's this guy. Oh, nice! I really like this. So it's a D20 necklace. I'm digging that. Then there's they're miniatures. They usually always come with uh, miniatures like this. Some dungeon crate pins, some more candy, another random bag. So the set of these are a little strange. So it seems like it's two D6s and two D10s. But then there's a full polyhedral dice set, which is pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about this necklace, which is pretty cool. All of the Candy is a nice plus. I think the coasters are kind of cool. Um, I'll try and use them. I'm not sure what this is. They do have digital goodies as well, so I'll probably check that out in a minute. Um, not sure what to do with this, 
but I can keep this and hopefully it'll be useful at some point. This is really awesome. I I think this is pretty cool. Then these I'm pretty sure come in everything. This comes in everything and then this comes sometimes, but I don't think it all they I don't think you always get this. Sometimes you'll get like a larger thing like this. I don't know. Um, but I don't think they always have these, so I'm glad I got it on a month where they do. Yeah, I'm really excited about these. I think this is awesome. This is the main reason why I'm getting the box. Yeah, and then the magic item is related to the adventure. So it's related to the adventure, which I think is really cool. One of the cool things about this box is usually the pieces in it, I believe, tie into the adventure that's included. Like I said, it's not always a booklet, but I do believe there is always an adventure of some sort. Um, and in this case, this, this ties in with the adventure. You saw it when I was flipping through the pages. And then the miniatures as well are something that you can use while doing the adventures, I believe. Uh, but it seems to fit in with the theme of it. So, like if you look at this character and then you look at these, they're like hooded ghosty type things. Wraith Slayers is what this is written. I'm pretty sure that's not what they're going to be called in here, but that's still super cool. I can obviously still use this, but I am sad that I won't get the full map. Um, and what else? Candy is candy. I'm in general not a huge fan of these kind of uh, buttons, but I do think it's a, a nice touch. It's a good way to kind of promote that themselves. Um, apparently these come in everything. I think it's supposed to be for the minis. You get like a little one for each miniature. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I do think that's cool. I have no clue what this is supposed to be about. I guess I will find out when I um, log on and try and check out the digital goods. So I think I will do that and go ahead and take you along. Okay, so here is the digital goods. You can see that they have the digital version of the adventure, which I think is very nice. I like having physical and digital versions of adventures. Um, and then next to it is an is a bonus adventure. I believe these are the two different types of adventures that you can get, either a booklet or a double-sided uh, page. So you kind of get both of those uh, here. And then you can see some flavor text underneath both of them, which I think is pretty nice to give you an idea of what the adventure is about. And then as you can see, there are some additional things for the monsters and items and just some bonus content. Uh, and then we have the maps, which I think is pretty nice. Okay, so I just read the back of this card that has all of the information about what's supposed to be included. This is the December box. Um, so you get the card, you get the adventure. With the adventure, you get two of these cards. I'm actually missing one of them. Uh, you get the minis and the business cards. This isn't mentioned on the sheet, but I'm pretty sure this is in all of the boxes. So I included it here. So you get the, in this case, two miniatures and the cards to go with them, a necklace, a bag of dice, and then this is either included as a card or I guess in most cases it's part of the box, which makes me sad because I don't like the idea of having to mess up my box if I want to use these. Uh, but these apparently are a way to purchase previous things. Uh, if you collect enough of them, you can purchase something. Then over here is all of the extra stuff. So these are all things, I guess, from previous months that they had left over that they included in people's boxes for the holidays. So we got some extra dice, the candy, um, the coasters, the little pins, the character sheet, um, or the character pad, which I really like, and then the, the Warlock reusable character sheet. 
which I think is really awesome to get all of these bonuses. And then three people also won a kind of giveaway thing. So they had three winners and apparently it was attached to the chocolate or something. So these are the goodies from inside the box. Okay, so now that all of that's out of the way, how do I feel about the box? Um, I will say I am very disappointed in the fact that it didn't come in the normal box. I wasn't expecting that. But fortunately, the contents of the box were pretty good, at least I think so. So the main reason why I'm interested in Dungeon Crate in the first place and wanted to try this subscription box was because I really liked the idea of adventure-based subscription boxes that came with additional goodies on top of the adventure itself to kind of support the adventure. In this case, we got a booklet, which I'm very happy about getting in my first box, along with a item and miniatures that kind of go along with the theme of the booklet. So you can use both of those things while running that adventure. Then on top of that, you get extra goodies like dice and coasters and chocolates and etc. Another thing that I was really happy with was the necklace and character sheet pad. I thought those were both really awesome and I'm totally going to figure out ways to use them even if I don't have any good ones at the moment. I think the character sheet pad will probably be good for NPCs because it is a kind of uh, simplified version of a normal character sheet. So maybe not the best for actual player characters, but pretty good for NPCs. The necklace I thought was really cool and totally up my alley, so I'm really excited about getting that. The dice I was a little bit confused about. It was nice as an extra, especially since the box did come with a regular set of seven polyhedral dice that was kind of bagged up separately. So I think the other four were just a bonus, which I think is cool, even though I just was a little bit confused. The digital goods were kind of a pain to download because each of the images. They weren't PDFs, they were individual images, so I had to click on each one separately and then save them that way versus having them all in a single PDF and downloading them that way. Or even an option to put everything in a zip file. That being said, I did really like all of the digital goodies, so I don't think that is that big of an issue. It just takes a little bit longer to save them, uh, which could be better. Overall, I'm really happy with the box. I'm excited to see what I get in the next month's box and to actually get one of the official Dungeon Crate boxes. I know they're supposed to be pretty good for storage, which is why I was excited to get it, and which is why I'm disappointed that I didn't get it in this case. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in tabletop RPG type things, please consider subscribing to my channel. I will see you guys in the next video. I am currently posting Posting a video every week so definitely come back for that and I will see you guys uh, next time. Alright!